How much does iPhone video really suck? Let's find out. I've seen so many times YouTubers on the platform talk about how gear doesn't matter. And I've seen a lot of videos where Gary Vaynerchuk talks about how you can start and grow an entire YouTube video using just your iPhone. You don't need a D-Rock. Your D-Rock is your phone. You need to start creating. So in today's video, that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. Hold on. There we go, we're not using this. We're not using this one either. We're shooting this entire video on this iPhone right here. Yes, you heard me right. I'm filming this on an iPhone XR that I got from someone who upgraded their iPhone to the newest one. And it, it does have some wear and tear on it. Before we go any farther, would you mind doing me a favor and hitting that subscribe button right here? It really helps me out. And as a way to say thank you, I'll even leave a knock knock joke in the description below. Go check it out, like seriously. Right next to the subscribe button, look at that description, it's gonna be awesome. Like I know a lot of people say that you can make a YouTube video with your phone and I'm all about doing what you can with what you have, but the idea of making YouTube videos with only my phone used to make me cringe. In all honesty, that just stemmed from ignorance and just this idea that I put in my head that you needed a camera to create. And I'm ready to prove myself wrong. This is actually a video I've wanted to make for a long time, and I just haven't. So, what, what's that saying? The best time to plant a tree is 10 years ago, and the second best time is now? Well, it's now. And you know, it's it's fine and dandy to talk about all that, but let's go, let's go shoot some B-roll and see how it turns out. Five, four, three. Honestly, I really stepped out of my comfort zone here when I'm making this video and I like it. It's, it's a nice change of pace. I mean, you see it's so easy to just get in, I mean, it's, it's not easy, but you just get so caught up in the gear sometimes. And what it does that I really take for granted the fact that, you know, there are people that don't have the stuff that I do that still make videos that are really awesome to watch. And I also have to remember the fact that I make a lot of excuses. Like sometimes I won't grab a clip or I won't record somewhere because all I have is my phone. But now I know that, hey, it's, it's more about the story than it is the quality of the clips, right? And that's why people subscribe to people with iPhone YouTube channels. If, if, the, if the gear was all that mattered, you know, everybody that had a red cinema camera would have 10 million subscribers. And that's just a simple fact. It comes down to your personality. It comes down to your tenacity. It comes down to what you're willing to do. It comes down to doing what you can with what you have. It really just comes down to you and what you can do, you know? And I think you could surprise yourself. I definitely have. And honestly, this video, like after doing all that, it was a lot easier and harder to do it than I thought. Honestly, I thought, getting B-roll would be super challenging. And you gotta keep in mind, I'm in Hawaii, I just moved here, I just quit my job not too long ago, I think two weeks ago maybe. Maybe, I don't even think it's two weeks ago yet. And I'm in a two week mandatory quarantine. And so all these clips here were inside of an apartment, or a condo rather, and it was probably in a 30 minute time frame that I got this entire video done, like filmed. And then I just started editing. So I turn on that slow-mo, I turn on that time-lapse, I just started playing with settings, and what I liked is I got that, that excitement to create again. And that's, that, I think that should be the big takeaway for this video, and that was my takeaway for sure. 